is remember the Hebrew Israelites. When I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelites, I'm not specifically talking about the people in the Bible, per se. I mean, it's the same thing, go hand in hand. But I'm specifically talking about the guys, the camps, the Hebrew Israelite camps that was in every major city. They're still in every, some of them are still in every major city. But there was a time when it was out there on a large scale, on a grand scale. Isn't it safe to say with everything that's transpiring in America right now that everything that they were preaching, everything that they were talking about on whether it be YouTube or if you ran into them on the street, isn't it safe to say that they were right? Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which will be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the heirs of the innumerable multitude of men, women, and children of Israel who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And as you Akiyam and Akwath just witnessed, you know, you know that Jake, you know, coming to the realization, you know, that <laughs> those men on the highways and byways with the ancient garbs, uh, with Bibles in their hands, uh, they're not crazy after all, man. Alright, and this is a conclusion that the world's gonna come to as prophecy begins to unfold, man. Okay, and what we're witnessing. All right, is the is the glory of the Lord being on display, man? All right, with these prophecies coming into fruition, and it's to the point now where it's undeniable, man, that the men that He sent are telling the truth, man, from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to the like-minded men with that same testimony, man. So through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, let's start here. Let's go to the book. Hey, at the end of the day. All right, the servants, the prophets, the believers, all right, men, women, and children that believe the report. Hey, at the end of the day, we're going to be justified, man. We're going to be justified. Why? Because we're being obedient to the Lord. We're doing, what we, we're doing what's required of us. You see? That's what, hey, that's why the Lord Yahweh Shai said, hold thy, hold on fast to what I have until he comes. All right, hold on to it. Hold on to this faith, man. The Lord's not gonna, the Lord's not gonna, um, matter of fact, let me get that first. The Lord's not gonna just leave us out there like that, man. Right here. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 25, and it reads, But that, in the red letter, Yahweh Shai speaking, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And what do, we, what, what do we have already? The faith, man. That gift of faith. Okay, we've all been given that. We've all been granted that gift of faith, those of us that believe. Those of us of the hopeful elect. Okay, that believe this strange doctrine. Yeah, believe it or not, this is a strange doctrine to the world, man. You see? Because the world is under a strong delusion. So the doctrine, the, the doctrine, the report we're coming with, which is of the heavens, all right, it, it's a strange doctrine to the world. It's strange to the world, man. But again, as time goes forward, as prophecy unfolds, your local atheist is going to have no choice but to believe. 
Okay, when they fall dead smack in the middle of prophecy unfolding. They're going to have no choice. You see? Let's go ahead. Let's get that. The book of Habakkuk. Where I was going originally. But the spirit be moving. Just going with the spirit. The book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2 and verse 14. And it reads. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord Yahweh. As the waters cover the sea, man. So there's nowhere on this earth where they're not, where they're not gonna have uh, some form of uh, understanding when it comes to what's coming. <laughs> okay, it tells you in Matthew 24 and 14, what this gospel of the kingdom should be preached throughout all the world for witness, man. You see, then the end's gonna come after that. So this is what we're seeing play out in the internet, the unicorn. It's doing the heavy lifting, as 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 uh, said beautifully by the beloved elder Apostle mm -hmm. Gabar, and the phone chimed in. You see, and this is why we tell you, Jake, get right or get left, because what we're speaking is not of our own accord. Okay, this is not of our own counsel. No, this is of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, man. As a matter of fact, and this is what you, Jake, are uh, ignorant of. You see? Let's get this real quick. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, which is which is going to very well cost you your life. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, in verse uh, 28, and it reads, For they are a nation void of counsel. Right, you don't want to be guided. You don't want to be reproved, directed. See, neither is there any understanding in them through two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So, through, you won't even inquire of what we're doing out there on the highways and byways. As you can see, us with Bibles in our hands, man. You would think you would inquire, and when you do, you still get blocked by the Lord if you're not part of this thing, like what happened last night. Uh, there was a high yellow Jake that came to uh take came to the camp last night. You know? Cause you know, we do a midweek camp through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh Yeah, man, he couldn't receive it. You know, we dealt with him, you know, we dealt with him uh you know very, very uh compassionately. You know? And he, he just couldn't he couldn't receive it. Why? Because he's not part of the wedding. That's why he couldn't get in. He's not on that list. He's not on the guest list. See? He was spiritually blocked. He couldn't receive this engrafted word which would have been able to save his soul, man. Nah. He's highly likely. Part of the generation of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's wrath, man. At least the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai opened his mind up, man, and have him have an epiphany about last night and what we were telling him. You see? If not, he's out of there. Continuing on. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, man. Understood what? The truth. Okay, and in, in the form of the prophets being on display, bringing it forth instead of mocking and scoffing and talking shit. Only if you were wise, man, and understood what was truly happening, man, understood the gravity of what's at hand and the danger that we're, that you're coming into, that we're all coming into, man. But the difference between you two third niggas and us, us of the whole four elect, <clears throat> no one with part of that person's number, is that we qualify to hope for mercy, man. And you don't. Check this out. That they would consider their ladder end, man. And you, Jake, don't consider your ladder end. You're going to realize it when it's too late. 
You're going to realize it. See, it's already, it's already going to be too late, man. When you come to the conclusion that prophets were among you, man. Messengers, angels, man. You're going to come to that conclusion too late. Because rest assured, man, what we're speaking on the highways and byways and on these digital epistles, it's going to come to pass, man. How do I know that? Because Yahweh Ba Shem Yahusha is going to confirm that. Let's get this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44. It's way down at the bottom. I'm going to go straight to the point. In verse 26, and it reads, That confirmeth the word of his servant. Who confirmeth the word of his servant? Forgive me, Aki. I'm in Aqua. I got to start up. I got to start at verse uh, 24. I'll jump down. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, the Redeemer. And he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord Yahweh that maketh all things. That stretcheth forth the heavens alone. That spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. Right? We understand that the creation came through the wisdom of the Lord Yahweh, man. Okay? But he had the Elohim with his son Yahweh Shai leading the charge pursuing the Genesis. The first chapter. Execute his blueprint. You see? Jumping down to verse 26. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers, man. I'm going to read this out and we're going to get that word confirmeth. That saith to Jerusalem that shalt, thou shalt be inhabited. Ye shall be built. Ye shall be built. And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Right. The tabernacle of David is being raised up. You see? This is, these are those good tidings that we come with. That's why scripture says, beautiful are the feet, you know, of the messengers, man. Isaiah 53. We're bringing good tidings to you, Jake, that want to receive it. We're coming out of captivity, man. We're about to come into glory. You see? But it's going to be through much tribulation. That's the sour part, or the bitter part, rather, of this truth. Because that's how we got to get it. Jake got to get it the hard way, man. That's the way the Lord set it up. But it's going to be well worth it, man. It's going to be well worth it. As it tells us in Romans 8, the sufferings that are on this side are not comparable to what the glory we're going to come into, man. But the point I want to make here, the Lord what? Confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. When you go real quick, let's go to the blue letter. The book of Isaiah 44 and 20, verse 26 in the blue letter. And when you get this word, confirmeth. Strong's H, 6965. Kum. Kum. Kum, right? It goes into what? To rise. Let me see here. Bear with me. I wanted the uh, similar words up here confirm, right? It goes into what? You got to uh, raise, establish. Right, stand, look at, perform, perform, 
You see? And then when you go to the big biblical usage, it goes into it goes into what? To rise, arise, right? Stand, stand up. And when you jump down to eight, to carry out. Give effect to man. To carry out. Give effect to man. So the Lord's gonna carry out. Okay, the words of his servants, man. He's going to perform the counsel of his messengers, man. You see? And when you go to Jeremiah, it tells us what? He's not going to return until he had done it. <laughs> okay? We'll close out right here. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23. I'll start at verse 19. It reads, Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord Yahweh." Is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. And we're seeing an example of that right now down south. Okay, with Hurricane Helene, we've seen the destruction uh, that hurricane did. Hurricane Milton, which touched down as of, I, as of at this moment, since last night. You see? And it's going to come into perfection when the Lord visits Esau via World War III, man. Okay? That's when it's going to come into, that world when it's going to come into its per the perfection. When our, grievy, when our judgment falls grievously upon the pate of the wicked, man, which is evil E. Right? Which is going to knock off the system. Verse 20, here's the point. Right? The anger of the Lord Yahweh shall not return. Until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart, right? Of his mind. That word lob in the Hebrew's mind. And where do you find the word, the Lord's thoughts? Right? In the Bible. Okay? Who are able to interpret his thoughts as servants, the prophets. Who are going to receive this, the wise sayings. Parables and allegorical, allegorical speech, the elect. You see, the arm of the Lord is only going to be revealed to the elect. Check this out. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly, man. And to consider something, in order for you to be able to consider something, you would have to know of it offhand. You see, you would have been given being given warning regarding a repercussion based off your behavior, so on and so forth, man. So based off the gospel that's been being preached, okay, from our beloved elders and apostles, okay, since 1969, even prior, all right, so now, Jake is coming to the conclusion. Shit. Maybe them crazy looking niggas on the highways and byways were right, man. But we can answer that question for you. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. From the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to the least believer. We're going to come into the time where we're going to have that I told you so moment. And you're going to be looking dumb as hell, Jake. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf. We're edified. Shalom.